You definitely need to watch mm-hmm. it. It's a phenomenal it's show. And this good. is what I meant by the yeah. witch. The witch has taken over, James, because yeah, the, show, the show's come out and <clears throat> been a massive success. A massive success. Yeah, huge success. And it's everywhere now. But it's also caused The Witcher 3 to actually have more people playing it now than at the launch of the game. I know. It's Witcher Crazy. season now, James. The Witch is taking over. And the before Witch is season two over. comes out, there's also going to be an animated movie series thing they're doing, like this animated thing. I don't yeah, even know. Yeah, I saw that. Um, animated by the same people that animated The Legend of Korra. Uh, fun little fact there for yeah. you. But it's uh, which is nice. But is it just the animators on Legend of Korra, or yeah, like, just the animators? Okay. Yeah, because the animators. The right. animation itself in Legend of Korra is really good. Yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. So what I'm saying, James, is The Witcher, after the game series has ended, mm-hmm. well, temp- you know, for now, um, mm-hmm. it's taken over again. The show's taken over. the show, the game, everything. It's all yeah. over the place. It's on your Spotify. It's everywhere. You know. Mm-hmm. If you if you like that, you know, oh, you know, and the Tossic Witch which is annoying me because Harlan, my brother, who I yeah. live with, is playing it too much and whistling it, <laughs> whistling it. He's like, I listen to all the remixes. I'm like, hey man, stop. <laughs> I listen to all the remixes. What does that mean? <laughs> He's How like, many are there? <laughs> dude, there's so many. He's like, dude, I've listened to this metal remix of it. I'm like, hey man, don't. <laughs> Oh, Don't. that's great. I listen, To be fair, I listened to like a, a string quartet version of it today that was on Spotify, and I was like, that's pretty That's pretty nice. Nah, stop that's it. A, that's a good version of it. And um, don't but whistle it's a fucking it great every song. day where I'm like making dinner. <laughs> and Because you whistling it is inf- infinitely worse than the actual song, but you're making the song bad, and I no longer <laughs> want to listen to it. Because I like the song. Oh, God. But now, I love it so much. Now I don't. It's stuck in my head. All the time, I can't get rid of it. Mm. It's just there all the time, yeah. taunting me. I wake up in the middle of the night. Would you say it's it. taking over? I would say Toss a Coin to Your Witcher is taking over yeah. my life and yeah. ruining it. Toss a Coin <laughs> to Your Witcher broke me. <laughs> it's it's a problem. Um, but how do you feel? You're a big Witcher fan. How do you feel uh, with the show? And we're gonna do a cinema room mm. on the show, of course, um, for full yeah, spoilers. I mean. But um, to keep it spoiler free and just in general, how are you feeling now as a Witcher fan with the massive success of the show? I'm feeling very good. It's great to see. I love that The Witch has become topical again because it's been five years since The Witcher 3 came out. And I mean, it's been like, when did Blood and Wine come out? That was end of 2016 or something? Or mid-20, early 2016? It was like May or something. Um, and so it's been a long time since since The Witcher 3 has been properly relevant although it's always been somewhat relevant like with all the clones coming out like assassin's creed trying to replicate it you got horizon zero dawn doing similar things um and whatnot and that sort of genre becoming really big after the witcher 3 so it's always referenced people always talking about oh it's like the witcher 3 but not as good um (laughs) but it's so nice to see after the show being so good and then lots of people playing the witcher and then like i made a video on the witcher 3 just after i finished watching the show as part of my advent calendar and it got like it's on like sixty five thousand views and it's just a video of me just like sitting down playing the witcher 3 and everyone was just really into it everyone that commented on it that just like stumbled across it through the algorithm or whatever was like oh this was great fun just to see someone revisiting the witcher 3 that loves it as much as i do and everything um and it's just great to see so i think it's been really good for cd project red as well like I, I, I can imagine it's done done them a lot for the marketing of Cyberpunk as well, because after watching The Witcher show and The Witcher becoming big and the, lots of people playing The Witcher 3 again, I'm sure a lot of people have looked into this new release coming from the same devs, so I'm sure that's great for them. Uh, exactly right. That's how, that's how... It's just great. That's right, mate, because I told you I don't care about Cyberpunk for ages. Mm-hmm. You don't remember that? But mm-hmm. now... I remember, it's, yeah. It's, vividly. It, it, do you remember vividly? Um, <laughs> it's now... I put on my top five list, because now that I've... Mm-hmm. been playing the witcher i'm like all right let's have a look and actually pay attention to cyberpunk and i said this in my most anticipated games video but mm-hmm. i in terms of setting it's like comparing the last of us and uncharted to me just the concept of uncharted i much prefer to a fucking zombie game any day of the yeah, week yeah, sure. would rather play an uncharted than a last of us game but i still like the mm-hmm. last of us a lot and that goes the same of like Fallout and Skyrim from Bethesda. I'd rather yeah, yeah. play an Elder Scrolls game any day than a Fallout game because post-apocalypse versus fantasy. Fantasy RPG, any day wins. So would mm-hmm. I rather play a new Witcher game than Cyberpunk? 100%. But it still looks like a phenomenal game and I'm excited to play it. No. So I am yeah, excited I'm about for Cyberpunk the same. now. 
Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm very excited to see what they do, but obviously medieval fantasy is my favorite genre yeah. of, of anything. So yeah. I'm obviously The Witcher is always going to be top for me. The same as like, you're never going to beat Elder Scrolls with a Fallout, but it's... Um, I'm I'm just I'm very I'm looking forward to Cyberpunk because it's CD Projekt Red and I know what they can do and for everything we've seen so far it looks like they're really going in deep with all these systems and everything so it's gonna be fun to see what Cyberpunk ends up being in the end. And Are CD... they doing more Witcher games? Uh, I believe so because when they were marketing Th- Witcher Three, they marketed it as like this is Geralt's last game is what they were saying, not like it's the last Witcher game. So right. I imagine they'll do another Witcher. I'm pretty uh, sure. Plus, they didn't they just like sign a contract with yeah. the author of the books or something? Yeah, yeah to like did. renew their deal with the brand or something. So they're definitely doing more with the the Witcher. And I, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they do another game with Geralt purely because the Witcher three was their first. Like, because the Witcher one and the Witcher two were both very successful games in their no, own right, but Geralt the Witcher doesn't three die in Witcher was. 3, thanks for that the <laughs> maybe he does <laughs> depends on the ending <laughs> but um yeah but witcher 2 thing... was more like double a and then witcher 3 was triple mm-hmm. a so they finally... witcher 3 was like it was such a big game as well and like the success of it and everything like it's like people had finally found their series and i think to them maybe that maybe they were thinking the witcher 3 will be a very similar story to like a to the first two is like this will be a good game for our audience and stuff like that will wrap up our story but it did i feel like the witcher 3 probably did a lot better than they ever thought that it would do um yeah and so especially like even when you look at all the marketing for it like it was never like people were never super into it like when you watch them perform like demos at e3 and stuff the audience isn't going crazy like they are now for cyberpunk um so clearly the witcher 3 outperformed what they were expecting and it to do. and i think that might show... have shifted and with the show as well this new interest in Geralt, like i think it would be a shame for them to throw that away so i wouldn't mm. be surprised if they decide to follow him again um but I also wouldn't be surprised if they stick to what stick to what they were doing because it's CD Projekt Red, and so yeah. if they don't want another Garrett game, if they think his story's done, then I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't want done. spoilers at all, so, but this is probably a terrible question to ask. Would, would, do you think it'll be a completely new Witcher, or do you think it'd be Siri? I think completely new. Okay. Okay. A lot of people, yeah, I don't know. Fair enough. I think I think it'll be completely new. Fair enough. All right. Um. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Well, Actually, um, the next... I, I kind of want to add real quick. Uh, yeah, CD, CD Project Red is kind of crazy right now because I feel like they've tripled in employees since The Witcher 3. So, like, Cyberpunk is their longest game that's been in development, and they have, like, three times the amount of employees. So whatever mm-hmm. they make is going to be crazy compared to The Witcher 3 in terms of just pushing the industry forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. makes a lot of sense. Oh, and that's what I want to see out of Cyberpunk, right? It's like where to, which three set the tone for RPGs for the last five years? What does Cyberpunk do? Mm-hmm. We're gonna. Find I really want to see. I, re- I really want to see Assassin's Creed try to replicate Cyberpunk. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. Because I want them to go for that first person, yeah. Um, yeah. cyberpunk sci-fi setting. You know, I was thinking the same thing. The whole modern day game. Straight they, out of my head, James. Straight out of my head. That's what I want. That's really what I really want. Ashraf, mm-hmm. take notes. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, on to change to change subjects, James. You because Brett and I are in good countries. We have Disney Plus now, but you don't yeah, have it no, yet. Uh, yeah. But you get it in March, and you yeah, get two months from today. Exactly and you, two and, months from and today, and then you'll get Clone Wars. So, um, yeah. Brett, have you got Disney Plus? Uh, yeah, I've been. Uh, well, I watched The Mandalorian, which was great, and uh, I rewatched all all the star wars movies before episode nine came out so yeah i've been yeah nice. i've been using it how do you how do you like it how you find disney plus uh it's i feel like it's kind of bland now that the mandalorian's over like there was so much content and then it just once you're done with mandalorian and star wars like i've i've already rewatched all the mcu movies before endgame so all the yeah. marvel movies really don't matter to me so for me personally, I just I need more content now. And what about this? All the old Disney movies. I Watch Aladdin. I haven't watched that yet. I watched Lion King. Watch Hercules. Watch High School Musical. The, the musical, musical. The, the show. series. Yeah. yeah. He's already seen. He's, yeah. he's already seen. <laughs> yeah. No, it's my favorite show on Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Better than The Mandalorian. High School Musical. The musical. The series. Yeah, but but for me personally, stuff. I really like physical. So I have a 4K Blu-ray player. 
And for me, it's just mm -hmm. I physical is way better than streaming, the quality and just everything. So I'm not even that into streaming, to be honest. I well. like Aladdin has a 4K Blu-ray okay, disc. Boomer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm headed out again. It's been fun. Thanks, guys, for having me. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. Okay, yeah. boomer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've ever used that meme. I love it. <laughs>